Bonjour tout le monde, bon après-midi. Good afternoon again, everyone. Je suis ici pour vous donner un... I'm here to give you some information about the college meeting. The college has decided to record, to register two European citizens initiatives, starting with Eat Original, Unmask Your Food, the goal of which is to have an obligatory, a mandatory declaration of origin for all foods to protect public health, prevent fraud and, in, and guarantee the right to consumer information. The second initiative is entitled Halt, Stop Fraud and Poor Use of the European Union Funds and will have stricter controls in the member states that do not take part in the European Public Prosecutor's Office in order to prevent in order to protect the union's financial interests and let me to remind you that in both cases the decision taken by the commission just regards the legal uh, the legal receivability of the the legal admissibility of the two proposals we have two press releases ready for you with more information you can find them on our website decided um, three senior management appointments to the positions of director, namely for uh, Mr. Johann Orel in the uh, Director General for Budgets, Mr. Bernd Adolf in the Director General for Human Resources and Security, and Mr. Philippe Dupontel in the Joint Research Center. Congratulations to all three of them. And then finally, Commissioner Oettinger reported uh, to the College on the progress made towards achieving the target of at least 40% female representation among Commission management by the end of the term of the current Commission. As you re may remember, reaching this target was, was is this one of the personal commitments that President Juncker made at the beginning of this mandate. So in light of this, I'm happy to announce to you that the uh, proportion of female managers in the Commission account for 39% of all managers, up from 30% at the beginning of November 2014 when this Commission uh, took office. And this progress comes after a series of measures which the Commission has put in place, and I think it's also one of those examples that show that this Commission keeps its promises. Most importantly, it will ensure that our management here in the Commission is more diverse, more balanced, and better reflects the realities in European societies. So these are the items that um, I wanted to share with you. If you have any questions before we switch to the technical briefing, please fire ahead. Otherwise, let's switch to the Asia-Europe connectivity technical briefing. I see one hand. Yes. Yes, go ahead.